I'm so sorry for doing this. I feel I owe you an explanation. Uh, yesterday was a lot, with the sudden last minute realization that I had to leap on quick escape, so let's call this an idiot break. This one's pretty fun, pretty simple, and hey, it was in dirty work with Norm MacDonald. That's good enough for me. Tub thumping. Way more detailed than this deserves. Can we call this the uh, songs you won't admit to liking subset of the guilty pleasure fun songs playlist? There's an epic intro where there's, you know, radio voice sounding talking and it is eight beats of A, five, six, seven, eight, four of F, four of G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bunch of times. And then the main riff kicks in. The chord progression is D, G, D, G, D, G, A. But T Chumba Wumba guy <laughs> didn't even bother to play a, a whole entire G. Off your D, you just put your pinky finger down and take your pointer finger off. And that's all the G that he bothered to do. Which it is. It's four notes out of your whole G chord, right? So you go ahead and play the entire G if you want. I'm staying true to Chumba Wumba. D. Chumba Wumba G, D, G, D, G, A. I get no, and then that's what it is. For the part where they're singing, the girl's singing about the thing that they're doing during the night, it's E minor, G, B minor, A, twice. E minor, G, B minor, Back into the main thing. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Poor Donnie boy. E ten, nine, B ten, G eleven. Starts the same. But once you get there to B10, you're going to go all the way up to baby E17. Totally worth it. Then G11, B10, and E10. You're thinking about baby F shape on the 10th, 11th, and 12th frets, right? That is a D as an F shape. That makes sense. We've been playing D the whole time, right? So G11, B10, E10. Again. One more time. E12. That's it. I joke, but seriously, go to look for the live version of this song. It was on Jay Leno, and you'll see the picture I had of Chumba Wumba in my head was a bunch of, you know, boisterous drunkards, but you will see that, that that's not the case at all. You'll be very surprised at who is performing this song for you. And also, put some headphones on and listen to this song, because they do a, a super Rivers Cuomo trick at the end, where kind of every vocal line that was ever in the song is now together and cooperating. Pretty actually cool, but uh, yeah, if I still have any subscribers tomorrow, I will see you then with more stuff. Be safe, be well, thank you for being here, and goodbye.